Shit, concrete is just you solid individual, you know what I'm saying? You true to yourself, you know, like, what you, you know who you are as a person at the end of the day. Like, you're going to stand tall on whatever you put out in the world, whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody tell you shit at the end of the day, and you you just solid. Like, through, through real and bullshit, you're going to remain solid. Man, concrete is what y'all looking at on your screen. Rather it be a Samsung iPhone at the trap with a little bitty small screen. Concrete is us. It's us. It's it's to stay solid. This is what it means to me. You know what I'm saying? Stay solid. Uh, be true to yourself. And just like uh, one thing about it, all of us, I would say we're very genuine. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like ain't no fake shit that go, go on with us. Real talk. I feel like we all can come to each other if we feel like we got an issue or a problem or if, if, if one other person needs help with another thing. I feel like we always a lending hand and I feel like we always sticking together and we always working like it never stops. Y'all can be concrete. We all solid. We, we pushing this. It's not like shit. it's just us. We say it's us That's, at the end of the day yeah. because we all are our own individuals, but we all come together as one and have the same mindset and push the same agenda for the world to really like do whatever you want to do at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And just be true to yourself and be solid. I think of just solid family, five rappers. <laughs> Is that not it? We solid, we family. Yeah, five rappers. I mean, and that's we five us. rappers. That's us, but like. But I like, pretty much ate better than any explanation. No cap. She said enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's it for us. Exactly how they said it. Just solid people. St be true to yourself. No matter what, stand tall on what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're an athlete, rapper, trapper, scammer. Um, I don't know. See she just pilot. Hit me, and as long as you. All right, bro. She just hit me too. You see that, y'all? Oh, cut that. Nah, don't no, cut that. No, 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 no. Don't no, cut no, that. No. Stand tall. That's what being concrete. She's is. solid, y'all. We in fucking Montreal, Quebec. Shit, I'm draft day. No real concrete shit, man. It's Montreality, in Montreal, and you on the field trip tour right now. Hey, y'all. I'm Caribou with three O's. You already know. Period. Concrete girl. It's only one. You feel me? They slick some girls too, though. I'm Camo. Uh, welcome to Montreality. Shout out Montreality. We're on a field trip tour right now. Yeah. What up, man? It's your boy DC Two Trio, aka Concrete Mo. Shout out to Montreality, man. You are now on a field trip tour, <laughs> gang. <laughs> <laughs> Said, how did I see the world when I was 10? Shit, nigga, I was a kid. <laughs> I was outside, you know, playing football, basketball, you know, on the PSP. Like, I don't know, just on some kid shit. Really wasn't thinking about the real world. You know, riding my bike. I was a kid. Well, dream shit. Like, what you want to be when you're older? Not for real. You wasn't thinking about it? Nah. I was. I, just, was. I was a child. Like, Why are you so close <laughs> to my face? You need some back up. <laughs> Nah, I don't for real though. I was just a child. I was having fun. Wake up every day, want to be with my friends, be outside. You know, riding really bikes. It. Yeah, same yeah. shit. Like, okay. Different time period than today. You know, yeah, kids yeah. don't really do that no more. They don't TikTok on their phone. You know, I think they kind of missed that. When I was ten, uh, I wanted to be on Bad Girls Club and I wanted to be an actress. Still do. <laughs> Probably will. After, like, I rap a little, probably just get on baddies, then get booked for a, for a movie. What do you guys think? Sounds realistic, honestly. I don't know one baddies member that got booked for, like, an A-list a, a movie yet. Just saying. I'm, I'm also the first. I'm the first to, to do a lot. Like, I'm the first to be a concrete girl. Like imagine Krishan Rock in a new Titanic movie. Just it would eat. <laughs> that shit was like eat. So if you had the opportunity 
to... If someone said, yeah, we got an A-list movie for you, you would just stop your music career? Yeah. Damn. I literally am only rapping because I saw Bo doing a movie when I was his assistant. And I was like, ooh, that, that's the day I was like, I want to be a rapper. Because, like, you could just be an actor from being a rapper if you fly enough at rapping. You think that's how that works? That's how Boat did it. You think he just just Nigga, started. just a rapper. And then they just put him in a movie. You think it's that simple, huh? Yeah. So I'm finna do the same. Shit, you got a lot to learn, buddy. No, you got a lot to learn. Y'all finna see. She's gonna be on baddies. I will. If I could go back in time... That's when I was 10 years old. Yes, it was the question. Um, I Jesus. It was what you was doing or what you was thinking about. When you were 10? He was 10 like five years ago. It wasn't that oh, long. Yeah. Well, fuck y'all. I was a child. That's fuck y'all. Fact. No, it's not. That's it's no not. A, that's not a fact. I was not 10 five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were though. All right, bro. When I was 10. Wait, what grade are you in when you're 10? Like, you're still in like. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yeah, fifth grade. I was in riding bikes, playing basketball. Around the neighborhood, trying to ask my friends, parents, could they come outside? That's all I was doing. Like, I mean, I think we all like wanted to be like famous a little bit, right? Like, you wanted to do something, but I mean, everything seems like I don't know. As a kid, it just seems so. You felt like you could be famous doing anything. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, like whatever the fuck. I, I would think I wanted to be a wrestler or something when I was when I was a kid. Like, I used to pray every night. I used to be like, God, please. Please make me build like John Cena or The Rock, so I could just, so I could just be on WWE and just go crazy. Like I used to wear the wristbands as a kid. Like I used to go to school with two, two you can't see me wristbands on on both my wrists with the headband that he used to wear on his on his arm because his arm is so big. I used to wear it around my head, and I used to, oh yeah, it's crazy. I got on The Rock show right now, but yeah, I used to do that. I used to wear sweatbands like John Cena every day, but that's what I was thinking about. I never thought. I'd be a rapper when I was 10. More like WWE, for for sure. Probably still could do it, honestly. Mm. All right, you're not going to be on baddies then. That's what that means. No. Yeah. We'll All right, we'll, we, we will see. Probably it's like, you know, fun, all fun. Like games. I was definitely like rapping on iPods and shit, though. With my friends, like, making songs on iPods and, you know, shit, regular kid shit. Like he said, going outside, riding bikes, uh, ding dong, ditching, you know, look kid shit, just trying to get into something, Man, swimming in lakes and shit like that. I'm from Alabama. So like we, we did a lot of like out- outdoor shit growing up, like, you know, like a lot of shit like that. Shit, I believe in manifestation. I mean, I remember I used to like, every time I would go to sleep or I like, wake up, I would just play some like meditation music or some shit to like, not even about money, just like manifestation, the shit that I want in life, you know, like my accomplishments and goals. Like it may not be the next day or the next week when it happens, but like I see it come to life, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta have that mindset with anything you do. Um, Whether it's whatever that you put your mind to and put it in this earth, like whatever you say, I feel like if you have a positive mindset and you keep, pushing that is going to happen in some way shape or form whether it's big or small you know like you just got to keep putting it out there in the world and just keep that energy right whether shit get hard or not you know you got to just keep going through um i don't really believe in manifestation whatever manifestation but i'm starting to though kind of though manifestation manifestation anyways but i'm starting to kind of believe it because like it is kind of weird how i'm right here type shit Where are and you I was at? talking about it because I used to be like uh I used to love um Lil Yachty you know I was a fan now he's my friend I'm on tour with him signed to him vibes so I might have manifested that maybe I believe in um I do believe in manifestation I think um I think the power, like the power of speech is, is real. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you really believe something and really want something for yourself and you chase after it and you work hard towards it, I think it can happen. If you believe that can happen, if you believe you can do anything, if you just work hard towards something and like you just keep telling yourself that, that's manifestation in itself. Like you're doing it even if like you don't think you are. Like it's, it's simple like that to me. I've always I've always believed in that. But that's just like it comes with believing in yourself, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I wouldn't specifically say uh, manifestation, but I do believe that the tongue is powerful. You feel me? And like, you, you definitely speak speak shit into existence. You were born in what, what year? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like speaking shit into existence is definitely like a sure. a, a, a thing that's a uh, that's real. You know, like I feel like growing up, I'd always be like, you know, I want to be a rapper. I want to be this. I want to be that. And I'm deeming myself something like I, f I feel like everybody, everybody, um, what you ask for is what you're going to get. So whether you asking for negative or are you asking for positive, I feel like if you keep asking for that, you're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful what you ask for. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Shit, Riley from the Boondocks, you know, like, that's all I used to watch as a child. Like they were just on bullshit, like the whole cast for real, but definitely Riley. Damn, I don't know. I don't be watching shit like that, but. Krishan? Full ass nigga. But you said cartoon character, right? Uh, When I was little. Oh, I was fucking with um, Powerpuff Girls real bad. Like my bed, I had stickers on my wall, posters. I thought I was actually a Powerpuff Girl. And yeah, so yeah. So it's 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 all time. All time. My favorite cartoon character, maybe like um, fuck. I don't I don't know if I can choose just one, but maybe like Rick from Rick and Morty. I like I like that. Like that's like my favorite show of all time. But I don't know. It's like a tie between like Finn from Adventure Time, Rick from Rick and Morty. I like Spongebob. Because I feel like Spongebob's just universal. Like, you can put it on, anybody gonna enjoy it. Like, it's whatever. Like, you can't you can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like I, like me. I want to be universal. So, it's it makes sense, I guess. Um, favorite cartoon character? I'd say, uh, I'd say Spongebob for sure. Like, without a doubt. The old Spongebob. Yeah, the old, the you old. know, like season one through three. Season one through four, some shit like that, like golden era SpongeBob. It's sure. like, come on, man, that's just, come on, it's amazing. Like, that's, Slick that's funnier like, now if you go back and watch it for sure. If, if <laughs> you watch it now, now, like the episode where they where they cut out all the cuss words when they was, like they got some funny <laughs> episodes of the or the Dirty Dan episode, the Pinhead. That one, I, I swear, I, I die laughing at that shit to this day. Like, that's that's that's, 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 that's some that's some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff. Shit, my relationship and friendship was with Bo is like beyond music. I've known him since like ninth grade, way before he was a little yachty, you know, like our relationship is just way deeper than rap and anything like that. He's my real brother. I can talk to him about anything, real life shit, you know, like the music shit just came about like right after, like, you know, he just seen the work ethic that I had and he believed in me, you know, when a lot of other niggas didn't and took that chance and shit, we here now today, you know, like standing tall with this shit. Uh, me and Bolt, that's like my bestie, Loki, my little bro, big bro, uncle, shit, he damn near my dad, pause, but I fuck with that nigga, he cool as hell, how I meet him, I met him through Sun God Pals, they was friends, and then we just had like mutual friends, and I met him, and then we started kicking it, shit, I went to like Texas or some shit, while he was making his album. And yeah. And then like, shit, we was just cool. We got really close like after that, like I became his assistant and we got really close during that. And then he fired me. And then I dropped the song, first song that I ever made. And then he called me and was like, what's up with it? Signed. Now he like, you know, we super close. He funny as fuck and he's a good person. Like he actually cares. Like he'll he'll have your back if you need it type shit. He been real helpful. Like every day on this tour, he'll, be, he'll dead eyes like be like, "Yo, you okay? You okay today?" I'm like, "Thank you," <laughs> cause I be tripping. My relationship with Bo, um, it developed. I guess like my big brother. I'm like I'm the youngest one in Concrete, so like it's it, he kind of like brought me in like under his wing really. Like that's how it was. So like when I met him, I was still I was like in my first year of college. I was a freshman, but like it was. 
my first semester because I dropped out after my first semester and like I never went to class. I like skipped class to go meet him. I actually met him at his split video shoot. So like the whole time split video, if you guys look at it, you'll see me like I'm all throughout it. I'm like, I have a red hat on. It's like very visible and I didn't know anybody and I was like nervous and I didn't know what was going on. And then like we met that day, maybe like a year later, we got close. Or like he just told me to come to the studio one day and then I came and then every day he was just like, call me tomorrow, call me tomorrow, call me tomorrow, call me tomorrow. And then we just like started hanging out every day and then I met all of them. I was there when Kira first started coming around and we all just like grew as like a unit as a family and like he just continued to like teach me things, you know what I'm saying? Like just really developed into like a, a, a real big brother for me. And like you know, since then it's just everything's been cool. Now we're here. Shit. Um that's my boy. Like they said, both both good people. He uh he ended up DM me on Instagram. He telling me he fuck with my music, you know what I'm saying? It's like uh uh late twenty twenty, you know what I'm saying? He ended up the next time he flew to LA for whatever business he had to fly to LA for, I think it was like like um mid December twenty twenty. He ended up uh, coming to my studio session. We ended up recording a couple of songs. He pulled me out the session like, like yo, bro, I want to get you signed. Like, I I, I want to sign you, and I want I want to help you with your music. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we've been rocking since then, for sure. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Yeah. Mm. These niggas trying to get personal. Some, some romance to it with your white ass. Um, <laughs> nah, I mean, shit. I got a bitch a chain, like a custom chain, like with diamonds and shit. Like that's probably the furthest I didn't, biggest shit I didn't ever did. You know what I'm saying? Go out my way. I don't really, I'm not just spinning shit on anybody and anything unless it, you know what I'm saying? They have a meaning to me and it's like really important. Besides that, nah, I just ain't, ain't spending no money on no bags. If we just meeting and shit like that, nah, this ain't that. My old boyfriend. He ain't never had no birthday party or nothing. So he was complaining to somehow. He ain't never. <laughs> what? <laughs> he ain't had no birthday. And the nigga was talking about he ain't oh never had God. no birthday party and all this stuff. And his mom don't give him no gifts. So I was like, all right. I gave him a little surprise party and it ate. And everybody came. Ruby Rose came. He cried when, when he had the party. Like, did he walk in and it was like, surprise? Like, what did they No, yeah. It was literally like that. Like, it was crazy. He was really happy. Yeah. yeah. I think he cried for real. I ate, but I'm always eating. That's probably why you was fat, <laughs> right? Um. Anyway, me. Wait, hold on. Did y'all hear that? Oh yeah, and the Chanel bag too for that. I said I, I was always eating, and then he said Both that's those, probably those why you was fat. Did you hear that? Did not say that. I did not say that. Y'all didn't hear that? Hello. I did not say that. I did not say that. That's crazy. I did not. I did, Damn. I didn't say that. Okay. You, you I really said you got a Chanel you bag too. Like, I've never seen a picture of you like I big. See yeah, Chanel bag. Chanel and, and bag with the dot with a chain. Yeah, that was probably the, like the, the biggest shit out of there. You the one. <laughs> Soap. <laughs> Whoosh. Uh, Whipped. Whoosh. Never again. Anyway, me. I've never really been the romantic type. I won't lie. I'm still trying to learn how to be romantic. You right and me now. both, brother. You and me right both. Right now, like I think I like. I don't know. Like I'm just trying to learn. But the most romantic thing I've done. <sighs> like what? I got my I got my girl a flight to Miami. Mm -hmm. It's our anniversary. You know, I decorated like the table, made it like put rose petals on it or whatever, and then nice. got her like a nice promise ring that looks like a wedding ring. You know, and I don't drink I don't drink alcohol, but like I drank wine with her that night. Yeah, like I feel like that's cool. Yeah, I try. I tried to get out the comfort zone. Think that was think that was different. For me, at least, it's different. Drink, baby. I say the the nicest thing, um, the most romantic thing I ever uh, did <laughs> was uh, <laughs> most romantic thing I ever did was got down. Uh, this, my ex hit me up, and I hope you're watching this. My ex hit me up. You know what I'm saying? She like, hey, I just graduated college, but I couldn't get no tickets to Rolling Loud. You feel what I'm saying? But we we was performing at Rolling Loud that year. It's my first time performing that Rolling Loud. Well, I was supposed to perform a role. I ain't even end up performing. But uh, 
I paid for a plane ticket to uh, to where we at in Atlanta. Paid for her plane ticket to Miami. Feel what I'm saying? Got her a ticket to Rolling Loud, and she ended up doing some extremely lame shit. So. Nah, I'm going to tell y'all later on. I don't know what my toxic trait is, man. I don't, I don't know. Could you spill my drink? <laughs> <laughs> Could you spill my drink? I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you spill my cup? <laughs> I know he got a few, boy. Oh, <laughs> brother, bro. <laughs> We just came. I wish it could work, but you spilled the cup. I wish we could work. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, shit, toxic trait, man. I don't know, man. I'm faithful, bro. Like, I mean, there's not really too much toxic in me right now. I can't. Ain't too much toxic. Oh my god. I can't wait to hear hers. Let's hear it. <laughs> Abusive. Please be honest too. Physical. You get. You get. You get. You get. You get, you get abusive with your with your niggas. Domestic. So I'm gonna be completely honest. I, if I had a toxic trait, it would be probably loving too hard. Oh my. And um. Oh, Stinks. Yeah, I'm pretty much a like chill vibe. Like I just really just love people. So who's this person you're talking about? <laughs> Are you talking about your partners? <laughs> your your uh your e- uh what is it? What is the word for it when you have another persona? Your alter ego. There you go. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I really don't. Are you referring to like the people that you why you leave them? She might be the most toxic in concrete. I ain't gonna y'all, buddy. What's one toxic thing? Everybody. <laughs> 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 That's you ain't call me back. <laughs> she, she abuses. She abuses the concrete members. Why the yeah, fuck she, you not she, answering the phone? <laughs> DC, get my fucking bag. Boat, come here. <laughs> you don't like my song? You said you don't like the song, Boat? All right, bet, watch. All right. You made me do six verses for this freestyle? <laughs> like, right, go kill, go kill. What is wrong with y'all? My, my toxic trait is, which I don't feel like I do, but people tell me I always want to be right, but I don't think that's what it that's, is. Oh, yeah, you do. You're you lying. Do. You're literally Girl, lying. So when do I want to... Him and Picasso are like yeah, that. Yeah, y'all be on the same shit. We're just together. arguing, bro. Like, love to argue, bro. a lot of times, I just sometimes I just be wanting to like have a conversation just to see how you think, and then they don't like people don't like shit like that. I guess they don't like. Y'all want to know what my toxic trait is? I'm a bad texter. For sure, like, that's what I no, suck at texting. You're bad with you the phone, it. period. Yeah. You're bad with the phone, bro. I'll see the phone in decent. Bro, I will call him. He won't answer the phone. And I'll walk on the bus and see his phone in his hand, bro. Like, I'm, I, I I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't mean nothing by it. No, I don't mean nothing by text. it. Text messages, like, 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 sometimes, sometimes, like, I see my text messages from my godmother and it made me sad. I was like, damn. But like, if you FaceTime me, I answer. Just FaceTime me, I answer. I answer FaceTimes. So if you're trying to get in contact with me, just FaceTime me. I don't answer texts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all friends, family. I don't know. I just don't do it. I just don't know. I don't know. But if you if you Facetime me, I promise I answer. We can talk for hours. I talk. I talk to these niggas on the phone for hours. Yeah, Facetime. Yeah, I'm a bad texter though. I'm sorry. Uh, this this hat is the the triple brim hat by Aris Tatalovich. So shout out to my boy Aris Tatalovich. Concrete member man. Uh, also the shirt and the, and the shorts and the shorts too. The whole fit. Full shout concrete. out to Aris Tatalovich. He is. Yeah, come please get the details. Please get the details. People don't really know how much you know effort and in creativity now, now, man now, puts now, into this shit. Now, what I use these triple brands from, like, you know, I slip like a hundred dollar bill under here sometimes, just for some emergency money. When I be, you know what I'm saying? Just on. Hey, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, huh? Yeah, pull a hundred oh, out, yeah, nigga. I got you. You see? Yeah, he basically, yeah, he basically you said pull a hundred out, nigga. You know. <laughs> Yeah, and then you know you got the triple stack shirt on my, on my. Oh no, I see. Now it's, it's one not, layer. It's, it's one layer, but the triple, the triple stack start right here. The, from the from the collar to the yeah. to the sleeves to the bottom, it's all. So it's all hemmed in. Super, yeah, just get one. Super player, and y'all go buy it. Essex, 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 Essex dot com. Aristotelovich dot com. Go get the shit that's not sold out. Might be on grill, but they might they probably taxing. They on probably there. taxing, but y'all go get that shit, please. 
Amiri Worst fashion jeans. trend. Amiri, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. I got this. I got this. I got this, nephew. I can't I wait this. to tell mine. Go ahead. I'm sorry, uh, whoever get offended by this. Them tight ass Amiri jeans with some fat ass shoes on. Like tight Amiri jeans with some Lanvin's on or some Alexander McQueen's or some Balenciaga Please, shoes or with, a, with a tight ass gallery department shirt and a chrome hearts hat. Nigga, you are not fly. You didn't eat. Like, like y'all setting appointments at Amiri and Chrome Heart <laughs> to go get the same shit the next nigga you got spent on. Spend some bullshit. If you go to the club in Miami, New York, Houston, or any of these popping cities, you will for sure see fifty humans in a Amiri shirt, Chrome Heart shirt, Gallery Department shirt, Amiri jeans, and oh my oh God, fi- God. y'all niggas have never even bought Fear of God, but y'all are tearing down the essentials. Y'all please stop doing that shit. And if you need some help, just come holler at one of the concrete boys and we're gonna get you right. We're gonna send your ass to Ares. Alright? What's the styling tip you have? Stop buying shit you see other niggas in. Be yourself. Like and, like and even, wear shit that's comfortable, bro. Yeah, y'all man, niggas I'm be trying. You can tell y'all trying too hard with Way too hard. I seen a nigga, I seen a nigga in some jeans so tight, he could not get his identification out of it. For you know real though. Them goddamn jeans if is? your jeans tighter than mine, then you need to just no. Please zoom in on okay. Kara jeans. Y'all jeans should not be tighter than this. Eris, okay, all right. Regardless, these are some good jeans, and they're not that expensive. Just please, y'all go get y'all some good jeans, man. And then y'all got kids, bro. Y'all <laughs> niggas be having. Hey, jeans tighter than their kids. Y'all got kids, man. Please stop doing that. A terrible, shit. a terrible fashion trend. Was fucking the leather sleeves, like the the fake leather sleeves with the gold zipper in the pouch. Oh yeah, that was oh crazy. My but as goodness, of now, hey, brother, y'all niggas, please stop wearing them hats with the horns on them, the fitty caps with All the horns too. on them. Them shits are terrible. Them hats, them hats are insane. I don't care. Them hats are insane. <laughs> Not your friend just manufacturing those. Yeah, yeah, come on. Please stop wearing them damn hats. With the horns on them. No, don't don't do stop that. that. Stop doing no, what you're stop doing. It. Please That's stop. Hey, Get stop, some help. Stop. <laughs> Seek help. Yeah, he's not the only. Whoever you're talking about, that's not the only Please nigga stop. that do it. Please stop wearing those hats. The hats with the horns on them. With the fucking bunny ears, the fitting caps. The horns on Bruh. it, y'all are all going to Bruh, hell. If you, are, if you, are, if you right. are older, nigga, if you were born in the 90s and you have on a horn hat, you are doing something wrong with your life. Stop it. I don't want. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> like, like, just the, like it doesn't matter if it's still going on or not. Just things I really hate around the time period. I, I hate what a lot of people hate. Like, I hated like emoji outfits. That was Jesus Christ. My message to the youth is: whatever you want to do in this world, don't listen to what anybody tell you. Through all the bullshit, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. Just stay true to yourself. And you're going to get there. You know what I'm saying? It might take longer than others, you know, but just hang in there. You're going to get there. Hey, little niggas. I just want to tell y'all to act on all your ideas. As crazy as they might seem, just act on all your ideas because I was bored. I made a rap. Now I'm popping. So you could do it too. And really, um, also be genuine all the time and real. Be a real ass bitch all the time. Or nigga, be a real ass nigga. And stay in school and read. Hey, little uh, niggas. <laughs> That's crazy. I should be a mom, huh? Yeah. My, my message to the youth. <clears throat> As me? <laughs> okay. I, He's I'm still not. the youth, y'all. He, they gonna feel, they gonna feel this one. They gonna feel this one, for my sure. My message, you know what I'm saying, to the youth. Like, if I had to say anything to y'all, it's like, um... Like, I know what y'all gonna say. Like, oh my God, is that Travis Scott? You look like Travis Scott. Cool. <laughs> That's fine, bro. It's not about who you look like. It's about who you're becoming. Let me tell you, and as long as you tie your shoes, you're going to get to where you're going. And then you'll, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Yes. You know, and you'll be able to do <laughs> what? what you're doing. As long as you tie your shoes. Who the hell told you that line? Huh? Who the hell told you that quote? A wise quote? man told me that. I think, I think you told me. I think that's Blessed what you told me. Never that one. My message to the youth is keep it real and to keep it real mean keep it true and real you know what i'm saying keep it true with yourself uh honor your parents if if your parents in your life and they they doing what they supposed to do even if they not man honor your parents 
shit, man. Like I said, keep it solid and never give up on your dreams. Like, X. never, whatever you're doing, like, I, I, I know reality come knocking at the door way before, you your know, dreams. your goals and dreams mm -hmm. do some, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But never, never put it on the back burner. Always, always intertwine that with your everyday life and just, man, never give up. Because we, we all here today because... We never gave up, and we not gonna give up. That's that's the you know that's the whole point of concrete. Everybody on this couch, you just gonna keep seeing go up, and that's because we not giving up on our dreams. So y'all can't give up on y'all dreams for sure. I always go with Plan A, man. Never go to Plan B. Shout out to motherfucking Montreality, man. Concrete is in the motherfucking building, and y'all is on the field trip tour, bitch. <laughs> You got to dig it. You got to understand it. And I just spilled my cup, but it, it's okay. <laughs> Montreality show. Love is like a mosh pit for sure. It opens, it closes. It's hot, it's wet. Screaming. Thrusting. That's love.